Well, the rain's finally stopping. It's been raining here for weeks, guys. Weeks. And uh, I haven't really had much chance to fish. So I'm getting my little chance right here. It only called for a little bit of rain today. So I decided to get the kayak out here, um, get it all loaded up. By the way, I had a viewer ask what kind of kayak this was. I did a review on it, um, or an overview actually. My review was, listen, if you got the money, get it, because it's set up for fishing, perfect. But um, yeah, it's a native Slayer uh, Propel 10 Max. It's got the pedal drive, obviously, but it's set up for fishing. I mean, it's they thought of everything as far as the fish holders go. I mean, you got you got a spot for your pliers to sit. You got a spot for your coffee. You got your built-in tackle box, you know, uh, on both sides. You got your racks. The rails go all the way down both sides for these things here. You can put all kinds of gear on them. I mean, just they, they thought of everything. So, yeah, uh, just I don't want to get into it too much because I already did. But that's for the viewer who asked me. It's a native Slayer Propel 10 Max 2021 version. Big difference. They did a lot of uh, tweaks and upgrades. And these little rod holder things here. You can slide your rods in that way and have them lay down in case you're going through some low hanging branches or whatever you got to do. But yeah, it stopped raining. So uh, we're going to load up the kayak. We're going to get out there. We're going to catch some bass. I'm hoping to hit on top water. I'm seeing a little bit of bait fish popping nothing's being chased but i do see them popping so we're gonna try top water first if that don't work we'll go back go back to my uh black and blue uh chatterbait uh i'll just throw that hit that off the bottom it's got a blue black and blue zaco trailer of course we've got our little lunker hut frog here and uh then we'll go with a texas rig it's kind of got a simple little little uh basically a small worm on there nothing fancy might hit it with a paddle tail or maybe a crack and craw or uh something like that a bandito bug but other than that let's get out there we'll try to catch some bass try to stay away from the perch and the uh crappie there's some pretty big crappie in here too but water's super high because of all the rain so i'm looking at new spots there's it's actually like a tree probably can't even see it there's like a big brown dead tree fell over there that was never in the water now it is because the water level's high so the fish are going to be pushed up in a different spots on this uh local reservoir see a little bit of a little bit of action right there that might be a little bluegill or something going crazy but let's get out there guys and hopefully we'll catch some fish and thanks for coming back and if you haven't subscribed please subscribe and uh let's get out there guys now we're gonna go over and we're gonna try i can see some uh Looks like some bluegill or some right there. I don't even know what that is really. But I don't expect much off this point considering I just came from there. Probably scared everything within a quarter mile radius. <laughs> nah. But I had to throw at it. Alright. Hopefully I got all my scupper plugs in. Yes, I do. All right. Let's get the cell phone out of the pocket. Put that in the protected drawer. All right. Let's see here. Got to put some uh, dip in my lip. Kids don't do this at home. Bad for you. A lot of things are bad for you, but... Oh, starting to sprinkle again. Whatever. We ain't going back. We're gonna man up. We've done it before. I've been on this, I've been on this reservoir before, and uh, I've had it piss on me so bad. I was in my other kayak. It pissed on me so bad that I had to go to the shore because I actually had to empty my kayak. Didn't have scupper plugs or anything like that. There was so much water in my kayak. I could barely pedal or uh, paddle. I didn't have a pedal drive. It was a regular, regular little pelican type kayak. Right underneath that tree. I think there's anything under there. I mean, this has got to be top water. Oh, we have no sun. It's raining. The only thing we don't have is a little bit of wind, which is fine with me in the kayak, but I know a little bit of wind does help. Yeah, we're gonna rip this frog. 
right around here. See what we can get. Probably not getting close enough to the shore. I don't know if they're up on the shore yet. We gotta figure out where they're staged up. We don't know if they are up on the shore, hanging back farther. I haven't really paddled around much to see the where they're hanging out. I got one mark over here, kind of just, that guy kind of just shot up, but 10 feet of water. So maybe we'll throw this out a little bit further. Some grass right there, I can see. Could be chilling by grass. Or they might not even hit frog. We'll find out. I'll throw it all around here. If I don't get any hits on it in like the first, I'd say, 10 minutes, I'll definitely switch. I'm getting marks down there. There's fish, there's fish under me. And they don't look like they're small ones either. Oh, it's humid. So humid right now. Yeah, I'm definitely over the top of some fish here. Probably should have threw the uh, this frog out here a little bit better before I headed over this way. But way yonder. Oh man, that was a long ass cast. I want to pull it right through right where all that stuff was there. Let's see if something will chomp on it. A couple of reels, let it drop. So it kind of just, when you reel it, when you pull up like that and let it drop on these jigs, it kind of flares that skirt out. And sometimes it gets the attention of fish nearby instead of just straight reel. I just had something hit it here. I don't think it's big, but uh, it's a little dry. He's a little dinky. A little dinky. But it worked, obviously. The, uh, and he had a sore on him, which is weird because I've never seen a, a fish in here. Uh, oh, my God. Look at all this. Look at this, guys. Right here. We're going to go back this way because there's definitely something chasing these fish. They don't just go crazy like that for no reason. But that little large mouth that I just had on there was uh, only probably maybe, maybe a pound. Try it by this branch. That felt like a hit. That felt like a big hit. Oh man. Seeing a branch? Or is he just a big fish? Oh, he's a eh, decent size. I'd say a good two pounder, maybe. Maybe even three. Maybe even pushing three. Ooh. He don't want to come up. What's wrong with your jaw there, buddy? It's broke. Somebody looks like somebody broke your jaw. That ain't cool. Yeah, man, I'll grab you different. I don't want to grab you by your jaw. Yeah, it looks like it's broke. That sucks. Jesus, I'm going to grab you by your top one, I guess. I don't know how well that's going to work. I'll grab you back here. You're a big one, though. At least you're still biting. I mean, it kind of sucks. Just the easy way. Give ourselves some slack. There we go. There you go. So I don't want to hold him by his bottom jaw because uh, for some reason somebody, it looks like it's split. It's definitely split. It's definitely moving. And uh, so I don't want to hurt him, but he's still biting, which is a good sign. He is a fatty. That's for sure. He is thick. I'd say he's pushing two and a half. All right, buddy, we'll let you go. Sorry about your jaw. Hopefully it, that thing heals. I know it wasn't me. I don't know how your jaw would get broke. Maybe somebody doesn't know how to take a hook out.
right now we're at eight feet. It's gonna drop right off. Ooh, that felt like a hit. I don't know if it was a hit or if it was grass, but oh, that was a hit. We did find one, guys. Wow. He's a, ooh, that's a good size. Nothing huge, again, but probably a couple pounder. You wanna come in there, buddy? Wanna come on and say hi to the people? Look at you, oh, you're fatty. You're a good size. Out here in eight, eight and a half feet of water. Wow, you're a good size, absolutely. That's a chunky one there. It's not a bad, he's got a nice big thick back on him, nice big thick belly, pretty good size. I'd say it's probably a good, uh, I don't know, maybe I'd say two pounds. Beautiful fish. Yeah. I'll let him go. I think there's just a lot of turtles over here or something. Ooh, that was a big, that was a bass. That was a big bass. Dang, he came out and slammed that thing. You guys really couldn't see him, but wow. I could. Going right back in there. Let's see what we can get. I didn't think they'd be hanging out with the turtles like they are, but that was a solid, I don't even know. Oh, my drag was slammed. That was probably a three pounder, easily a three. That was easily a three. I don't think he'll bite again, because he actually, he actually hit it pretty good, but I don't think he tasted the hooks, but I don't think he's going to hit it again. Wow. See that fish jump? Something just hit that. Oh, we got something. He's going to jump. Oh my God, that's a big one. Oh my God. Yes, wow, that is the, oh my God. I hope I get this guy in. He, oh, he's a beast. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Please don't lose him, please don't lose him. Please don't dig down the grass. He is a fatty. Whoa, he ain't ready to come in either. But, oh my God, come on, guy. Come on, guy. You're right here. You're right here, guy. Come on, wow. Big one. Come here, lip. There we go. Yes. Oh, yes, sir. Oh, my God. Yes, sir. That is the best one I've got today by far. That is a fat bass. Oh, my God. Look at that. <laughs> Big old head. I mean, solid look at the back on this thing that is a big freaking bass oh my god guys i'm so freaking happy right now thank you this is what we were after this is what we were after guys we're gonna get a weight on this definitely get a length on it it's it's heavy i'm i'm thinking it's pushing gotta be three and a half at least so we're definitely gonna get a weight Put it back in the water real quick. This guy just chilling out here. We're definitely gonna get a weight. I knew there was a monster in here following it when it came up that first time. This could have been that guy because uh, when I saw that back, like I knew it was huge. So we're at zero, guys. Here we go. Four pounds on the button. I mean, yeah, that's what I'm talking about four four oh here we go four one we just did a quick another way here four point one 
I mean, that's a tank. That is a tank, guys. Absolutely freaking lootly. Guys, we are hitting at 20, 20 inches, 20 inches, and it's 4.1 pounds. A big old tank of a bass. Gonna let it go. We're gonna let it go, guys. Four pounder, four pounder, guys. There we go, release safely. Released safely. Awesome, awesome fish on the black and blue chatterbait through this grass about six feet of water and uh got a black and blue black and blue uh craw for a trailer yep that got it done in uh, case anybody's wondering it's just a uh, fast action uh what i got medium heavy and i'd say it's i think this is 12 pound fluoro and uh, yeah, this is a six stick, my favorite. And I'm using a Daewoo Tatula 7 to 3 reel. Um, that's why I just ripped that through this, this grass on here. So it's pretty strong line. And the pole held up really well. Excellent. Man, that fish has got me pumped. Absolutely, that fish has got me pumped. That is awesome. Ain't nothing like pulling up a <laughs> a four pounder out of a spot you never really catch anything over three. Man, that was great. I can see fish popping way back there too, but the thing is, man, it gets so grassy and so shallow. I mean, I don't know if they'd hit on a frog back there. Probably could. We got a little bit more wind or something. Ooh, that was it. There's another one. Oh my God. No way. Another big one? Are you kidding me? What are the chances? What is, oh, what is that? It's the same fish. I don't think it's the same one. I mean, that's a tank though. Come on. Oh, are you kidding me? Yes. Thank you, Lord. That's all I can say. Get over here, big guy. Oh my God. I don't think it's the same one. Unless you're just super hungry and you're like, duh. Nah, you're not the same one. You're not as big. You're you're a good size. Don't get me wrong. I mean I'm happy. I'm happy, but you're you're not, you're not that four pounder. You're definitely pushing, I'd say, cl close to three. Close to three. Absolutely. Man, you're beautiful. Look at this guy, huh? I would say two and a half, but yeah, that's a good fish, guys. Another good fish. Another good fish. Man, thank you, sir. Go ahead. Go on. Man, what a great idea to come out of this pocket and cast back into it. All right, so we got those two big ones out of here. We're going to try to get more sit right here fish all day <laughs> six feet of water lots and lots of weeds um black and blue chatterbait and i just hit a bunch of weeds right there a big old glob oh man took my chatter away it's there it goes it just fell off there's got to be more big ones chilling in here i mean i i can't believe they're hanging out with these turtles though I always heard, oh, there ain't gonna be no fish where there's where there's turtles, but these guys are swimming side by side in this place. So I don't know. Kind of throws that theory right out the window. Is that a fish? No way. If that is, it's another big one. Oh my god, it's a fish, but I don't I can't see him. <laughs> Yeah, he's just digging in grass. I don't think he's super big. He might be a two and a half pounder, but yeah, he's definitely digging in some grass. He's, yeah, he ain't that big. Come here, you're a good size. I'll take you. I'll take you all day long. Come here. I got you, buddy. I got you. 
Hold on. You ain't going nowhere. Yeah, you're just digging in grass, son. You felt like you were a monster. Not that you ain't big. You got a good size on you. I definitely found the big fish. Thank you. It's kind of hard to pop this one out because it's it's like in a weird spot of his jaw. Probably a very, very sensitive spot. I'm sure he ain't happy. All right. All right, here we go. Probably a good one and a half. I'd say it's about a pound and a half. Not a bad size. He ate some spinach on the way up. Thought he was a monster. There we go. Well, I hope you guys are enjoying this. I think it's fun. I'm just glad it ain't raining. It rained for, Jesus, it's been going on two weeks. This water level's super, super high. It's usually a lot cleaner. That's a fish. That's a good fish too. I don't I'm hooked kind of weird, I think. There we go. I got him good. It's been a little while since we got one. But they are over here. go guys not bad at all that's probably a pound a little over maybe a pound and a half a pound and a half or hit very 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 gently There's one. Oh, he's down in the grass. He don't want to come up. But he's gonna. Oh. What is he stuck under? I lost him. He's under a tree or something. There he is. We got him. Oops. We saved him. <clears throat> Big fish here. There we go. Man, this is a nice one. Probably a good two pounder dug down on the seaweed. I thought I lost them. But basically we just pulled them right out of them. The uh, cattails right there. 
and he hit on that black and blue jig there's some stuff in his mouth i don't know what that is in there but yeah cool been a while guess we'll let this guy go Something moved over there. There we go. That's a good one. Right up on that bank. Chubby, chubby guy too. Stay down. There we go. Oh, he came off right at the kayak. That's fine. He can go back. There's my trailer though. I want my trailer back. I do want my trailer back. We gotcha. There we go. That's a nice fish. Wasn't a big boy by no means. But we haven't caught a fish in a while, so it's actually nice catching a fish. Alright guys, hope you had some fun today. Uh, black and blue chatterbait was doing the damage. Caught that nice 4.1 pounder. Some threes, two and a halves, like a lot of those. A lot of twos and uh, just a couple of small one, one and a half pounders. But uh, yeah, the black and blue chatterbait was definitely doing the damage. Nothing was hitting on the top water. I didn't expect it to be because it really wasn't windy. So, but I hope you guys enjoyed it. Hope you guys stop back again. I should have uh, more content coming up. Try to go to some new places. Um, try to get some smallies once the uh, river goes down. A lot of rain, so that river has been really high. And the places that we go, um, yeah, they're not going to bite. It's just the, the water's too crazy right there. So I got to wait a few days for that water level to drop down. Hopefully the rain holds off. It's been raining for like almost two weeks. So today I got kind of lucky. It only sprinkled on us a little bit. But it was still fun getting out here and ripping some lips with you guys. Hope you all enjoyed it. And uh, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. And if you guys haven't subscribed, please subscribe. And thanks for coming back to the channel, you son of a fish. <laughs>